Hey everyone, welcome back to Binary Brain, your tech buddy for breaking down complex code into simple bytes. Today we're diving into the history of C language, how it started, why it was made, what we can do with it, and the big question. Is it still worth learning in the future? Let's plug into the past to understand the future. Let's go. It all started in the early 1970s at Bell Labs. A brilliant computer scientist named Dennis Ritchie created C. But why? Well, before C, there was a language called B, which was based on BCPL. It was good, but it lacked performance and flexibility. Ritchie built C as an improvement, a powerful, low-level, structured language that was both close to the hardware and easy to use for software development. And here's the kicker. The Unix operating system was rewritten in C. That was a game changer. C was made for a few key reasons. Efficiency. It runs fast, almost like assembly. Portability. You can write C code and run it on different machines with minimal changes. Control. It gives programmers access to memory and low-level operations. Structure. Unlike assembly, C allowed structured, readable code. So, it was the perfect middle ground. Not too close to the machine, not too far from the programmer. Now you might ask, okay, but what can we build with it? Operating systems. Windows, Linux, and parts of Macos are all built using C. Embedded systems. Cars, washing machines, ATMs. C runs behind the scenes. Compilers and interpreters. Many other languages like Python and Ruby have their core written in C. Game development. Game engines like Unreal use C and C++ for high performance. C is literally everywhere. It's the backbone of modern computing. Absolutely. Here's why. Foundational knowledge. Learning C teaches you how computers work at a deep level. Job opportunities. Industries like embedded systems, kernel development, and system programming still rely heavily on C. Performance critical application C is unbeatable when speed and memory control matter. While higher level languages are popular, C remains the language of power under the hood. So, is learning C worth it in 2025 and beyond? If you want to master the roots of programming and build powerful, efficient systems, yes. C isn't just a language, it's a legacy, and it's still writing the future. If you like this bite of history, hit like, subscribe to Binary Brain, and comment what language you want us to decode next. Until next time, keep coding, keep cracking the binary brain.